Hello guys, now we are going to tackle the first part of our problem, i.e. finding the contours of shapes in an image and outline the contours. We'll see two different methods from OpenCV library for this purpose. We'll see a method called find contours and also draw contours. So to that end, I have created a project called contour detection and also imported the OpenCV Sharp library after downloading it from the NuGet. And here we are in the program class and in the main method particularly. The first thing we do on line 10 here, we grab the image. This time our image is called shapes.png. This is the same image that you saw in the slides in the presentation of this chapter. And here I call get all contours method, which I have implemented down here. It takes our image as the input parameter and returns a variable called contours and it's of type array of array of point objects. And here I just clone the original image because I don't want to spoil the original image and I'm going to draw my contour boundaries on this clone object and having got the contours here, contours list, I draw the contours on the cloned object and this is my contours output from this method call and we have here a parameter with value minus one. This minus one means that we are after all the contours. So we are going to draw all the contours. Had we been after a particular contour, we would be using its index number to get that contour only. And then instead of minus one, here we would be placing the index number of the contour that we are after. We could also iterate over the contours in a for or for each loop, an example of which iteration you'll see in the second part of this chapter. And then comes the scalar object definition or creation with zero values. So we are using a black color here for the pen that's used for drawing the contours and a thickness of three pixels for the pen. And then come two lines which display our original image, this one, and also the image clone which has the contours drawn on it. So one thing remains here to be discussed. It is the get all contours method. As you can see, it returns an array of array of point objects. It takes a math type object, which is our original object. Here on line 23, we define or create a math object to hold our grayscale object. And on this line 24, we convert our original image to a grayscale image with this line. And then we create a variable here of math type called trash. This object is going to hold the thresholded object, grayscale object. So here on this line, we use a simple threshold method call using the grayscale image as input parameter and the trash object as the output parameter. We are using a threshold value of one to seven. And this is the upper value. And we are using the type binary. That means any pixel below 1 to 7 will be converted to black 0 and anything above will be converted to 255 which is white and in the end we'll have a binary image black and white image and it's necessary actually for easy contour detection. In some cases you'll see that we even do canny edge detection before contour detection and also we may require to do some smoothening on the original image on before we attempt to get the contours of the image and here since our find contours method requires some parameters without keyword, those parameter variables have to be defined beforehand. The first variable is defined as contours and it's an array of array of point objects and it's going to hold the contours after the method call and this parameter hierarchy index is an array and it's also used with an out keyword in the method so it is defined here before the method call it gives an information about the topology of the contours in our image it shows the relationship between the contours parent to child relationship we are not going to be making use of this parameters value after the method call in this project. And fourth place, we have the retrieval mode, which is list here. We have also some other options here, such as tree and external. 
we have chosen the list one if we were to use the external one here that selection would retrieve only the extreme outer contours the list one just retrieves the contours in random order there is no relationship between the contours and the tree one this one the tree would retrieve all of the contours and would reconstruct a full hierarchy of nested contours we are not dealing with nested contours here perhaps in future applications we may be requiring for this to be a tree type and in the last place we use a contour approximation mode of approximate simple there's another one which is popular which is the approximate none what does that mean if we had to choose the approximate none option all the boundary points would be stored but actually do we need all the points for example if you are finding the contour of a straight line do you need all the points on the line to represent that line no we just need two endpoints of that line to define the line the same holds true for a rectangular shape if you were to find the contour of a rectangular shape only four corner points contour points would be enough to define that and by using the approximate simple we actually remove all redundant points and compress the contour thereby saving a lot of memory that's why i have chosen the approximate simple mode type here and then we return the contours as the output of this method call the rest we have just gone through so you know what happens now what we are going to do is to run this project and see the result there you go this is our original image and this is our output image as you can see all the borders or contours have been detected and the contour lines have been drawn so that's the end of the first implementation.